Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, Metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. The UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to... Ooh, I don't scare easy, boy. United in their don't get me started on that liberal crap. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas, surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? No, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tumut precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. All right, that was a cheap shot, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting you here, and I can't deal with our past right now. I know it's a risk for you, but I really do need to get into that morgue. Oh, jeez, Jensen. I don't see how I can possibly do this. There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. I just got my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. Hey, you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not going to force you to do anything, and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. You would do that? Everything goes back to that day. I shot a kid, but he was dead before I did that. He chose to make himself a weapon, and he could have gone through us like tissue paper with those augments of his. That's why you ran off. You just couldn't take that. Hey, take it easy. Nobody is judging you. It's not why I'm here. Just give me what I want, and I'll be on my way. We won't have to yell at each other anymore. You never give up, do you? What happened wasn't my fault. You were in command, but when they told you to take the shot, you refused. So they told me. You and I, we were trained to follow orders, Jensen. I couldn't say no. I wasn't strong enough. Adam, please. I need to hear you say it wasn't my fault. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh, I need to be alone for a while. Jansen, right? Don't, Don't get you. me started on that liberal yeah. crap. You were a good cop by most accounts, but you're lucky you got I'm out. Being... Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit. Thanks to the arrival of William Taggart, celebrity author and founder of the Anti-Augmentation...
through millionaire Hugh Darrow. Access granted. Is there something I can help you with, sir?
Access granted. Now that being said, I do hope the UN takes it. I can't promise anything. Not right now. Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you I had to get the hell out of my way. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? 
What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Now, that being said... You got what you wanted. You don't takes a concentrated Love, look at what happened here. Mr. Taggart went on I'll to see. his speech. Mm -hmm. to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Taggart will be Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. Come to gloat, Hanser. Enjoy it while you can. I won't be here long. That's pretty optimistic talk from a guy facing terrorism charges. Ain't gonna be any charges. You think your boss is the only powerful man in this city? The way I figure it, DA's getting a phone call right about now. Yeah? Well, I know the DA. He can't be bought. Ain't about money, Cholo. You and your company, you're fucking with nature. Trying to control human evolution. But you got no clue what the real cost of your tinkering will be. Thank God a lot of other men do. Powerful men. Powerful enough to pick up a phone and get me free. Just watch. Are we talking about your brother? You stay away from him, Hanser. You even think about going after him. Oh, fuck it, man. You don't know nothing about my brother and me. We're done here. Hey, man. You can't just barge in here. Can I help you, buddy? About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? 
Tell Manderley I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. What do you want now? Looking the other way for you guys is one thing, but I'm not gonna help you carry him out of here. You're supposed to have a partner for that. Where the hell is she? Technologies? Cannot. Oh man, you're kidding me. They're finally gonna arm us with the PEPs. That's right, my friend. The Pulsed Energy Projection System. Single shot, non-lethal. Firing a concussive blast so strong it'll knock down an elephant. Those gangers won't even know what hit them. About time. CPD's been using those for a year already. And we got worse problems than them. A couple of witnesses don't want to sound for saying your name. Offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to humanity. Hey, don't even think about starting any trouble. You're Jensen, right? One of my buddies told me you were SWAT once upon a time. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Sarah. United in their cause. About this car. It gets all shut up, it gets rebuilt as a cyborg. Uh, is that with Van Damme? Oh, that's something else. I'm surprised you never heard of it. 
takes place in the future Detroit. I guess I'm just not into sci-fi. Nice digs. Hey, you ever heard of this 80s movie? Look at this guy. I think we were just talking about you, pal. Access granted.
Access granted. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? Nervous, are we? Surely you understand. I wasn't successful in this line of work for this long by being careless. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now, I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. I need a more precise location on the target. There's a small back alley known to the locals as Earl's Court. You can access Double T's building using the fire escape. He's in one of the apartments on the fourth floor. So what is it I'm picking up and where is it exactly? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. In front of it, on the other side of the street, you'll see a door that leads to a maintenance corridor. In the first corner of that corridor, you will find a crossbow hidden amongst the trash and debris. Use it to kill Double T. I guess that's it for now. Don't get your face. 
Access granted.